Hi guys. While conducting drives in desert, almost every week I meet some drivers with some of the best 4x4s, some of the most modified 4x4s and some of the most capable cars. And I see a lot of them struggle big time in the desert. They struggle and struggle. There are many reasons, but one thing that is common in all is a wrong reading of the dunes. Great driving on sand starts with the great reading of the dunes. Let me give you some tips which can help you big time. Welcome back to part two of easy step by step off roading guide for beginners. Hi friends, I'm Tarek. You are watching Torque Converter. In the previous video, we covered in details about knowing your car. Link is posted in the description below or check the i-card above. In this video, we will cover the second topic that is knowing the sand. Desert is more a game of technique and less about the muscles of your car. 80-20 principle applies here also. That means 20% your car matters and 80% your techniques matter. Remember, David killed Goliath because of the technique and not the muscles. Sand dunes are like sea waves. They are unstable. They don't appreciate someone riding over them. If this fact isn't respected, they can be unforgiving. They have an inbuilt tendency to flip you over. With right techniques, you can be friends with them and swim seamlessly with them. So let's understand some basics here. When we drive on road and let's say our car starts drifting away from the road, what do we do? We adjust the steering and bring it back on the road. We don't need practice for it. That is our instinct. And that's exactly what we don't do in the desert. If the dune is pulling the car down on one side, we don't correct it. We respect that gravitational force or gravity and turn the steering that side and go down. Take a loop, come back again, try again. No need to feel shy. There is no ego. But don't try to correct the line in case you have missed it. This is where most of the rollovers happen. As beginner, remember this thumb rule without fail to never ever correct the line in case you have missed it gravity will always try to win to pull a two to three ton car down respect that fact let me add a catch here experienced off-roaders do correct that without going down we will cover not probably in this video but maybe in some other video later each dune mostly has two sides hard side and soft side. In desert, wind will keep throwing sand on one side of the dune, making that side harder. How to know the harder side? They are mostly round in shape. And whenever you see these zigzag patterns, which are created out of wind, you are most probably seeing a harder side of the dune. The other side of the dune will automatically be the softer side because there is no wind. It's normally smooth looking and doesn't have any patterns. As a beginner, you try always to drive on the harder side. When switching the dunes, you will always switch from hard to soft side. We'll talk about switching later, but the game becomes much more interesting with experienced off-roaders they switch from soft to hard and drive on the soft side. This gives a completely different articulation and swing to the car. Any sharp dune in the shape of pyramid will have at least one hard side or maximum two. All three cannot be hard, just keep that in mind. Desert is a vast ocean of many interstitched dunes. Each dune has an opening and an exit. So as a newbie, to reach from A to B, you might have to take a longer zigzag distance because you try to keep your car on the harder side of the sand to get better traction and lesser digs in the sand. Once you are experienced, you can take a much straighter line. So we also conduct certain competitions where the participants must cover a circuit in sand with minimum distance traveled. And minimum distance between two points can only be a straight line and therefore the drive becomes much more challenging in all the aspects. So whenever you see a dune with experience, you should be able to guess the shape on the other side of the dune, the hidden side. It helps you in your driving. Most 4x4s are designed to take up to 60 degrees front and back, but not more than 45 sideways. As a newbie, try to cross the ridge straight like this. The advantage is your car will still be under 60 degrees front back limit. So the rollover chances are almost nil unless you have a really bad day. And the disadvantage is most newbies have a fear that what is on the other side of the dune. Remember, there are no vertical walls in desert. So hence as a newbie, you might slow down while going up and you get stuck like a seesaw. Your car will sit on the chassis. All the four wheels will be in the air with very less traction. Means you need to be pulled out by another car. As a beginner, never ever stop at 45 degrees sideways. Remember, there is no sightseeing at all at the side angle. If at all there is a sight, it would be a bad one. Trust me. 
avoid that. While side sloping, always go like this. So while sliding down your car, the sand will start accumulating under the wheels. The moment you feel you are losing momentum, turn the steering, push the gas and come down. Remember in desert, your friends are always your control over your steering and your gas pedal. So often you should go and massage your right leg properly so that you can really push the gas properly. I've seen many new off-roaders, they very reluctantly push the gas. You need to hear a certain throttle, certain sound from your car and that is the kind of gas you need to press in the desert. Never ever stop at this angle. Visualize this, you stopped sideways, gravity pulling you down, accumulated sand under the wheels which act like hinge, trust me, not a good sight. While attempting a side slope, always go up with good momentum and lower gear. I have created a detailed video on the right choice of gear while going up, check the description below or the i link above. So momentum is equal to mass into velocity, simple terms, weight into speed, heavier cars can get a good momentum with lesser speeds, but lighter cars would need more speed to match the same momentum. With experience, it becomes more interesting to cross any ridge. You don't go vertical like I advise to the newbie off-roaders. You go like this. Always come this way, climb on the ridge, glide your car for a few meters and then switch over to the other side. It will give you much more control. Never cross any ridge diagonally without gliding over it. You will jump the car and can damage the axles, control arms, bumpers, pop outs will happen and whatnot. If you are switching from hard to soft, this is the line you should take. For experienced guys, switching from soft side to hard side, we take this angle. You need to drive up more vertically, then shift to the ridge glide over it and then switch over when you're doing ridge shaving or dune shaving or riding over the crest never hold steering with hard hands keep a very soft hand on your steering why because the vibration of the steering will give you a real-time sense of the dune you are riding on it will help you in doing little adjustments you would know which way to steer and by how much by the way, you need to add 8 to 10 mm metal skid plate under the front bumper to protect your radiator and front from any major hits. A couple of handy tips before winding up. Master the dune readings. One should learn to use the momentum of one dune to climb over the other dune with less power. Lesser braking and right choice of the dune with more speed makes the game much more exciting. Always remember dune can be your friend and can be your enemy too. Sand will always try to slow down or pull in your car. This will happen faster than you think it will. So always keep that gap of a few seconds in mind and adjust your steering and gas accordingly. Desert driving is a game of discipline and calm mind. Never overdo, do what you can, but always push your limits to learn more and more. So guys, these are some basics for now. Each topic that I discussed is an episode on its own. For now, all is theory practically on sand is a different experience. Apply these on your next drive and let me know how you felt. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Next topic is knowing the convoy discipline. If you have liked this video, please like and share. If you are new, please subscribe and click the notification button to keep getting more of such videos. Enjoy responsibly. Stay tuned. Thank you.